was a little overexposed, huh? Lighting wise. Hey, that's not too bad. Stitches is here. It's okay. Why are you so nervous? You don't have to do anything. Just sit there. Grab my computer just in case. Hello! We are live. Got this in case it get cold. I might mold. She's okay. How's it going, everyone? Got the puppy right here. Hello, hello. Cool, cool. There she is. Oh my word, I don't think she's been on a stream yet. Aw, oh, dog reveal. I'm doing all right. It's just a nice slow morning today. <laughs> Look at her over there and over here. Mr. Wonka's walking around. I think it's about to rain or storm. And so she's nervous. But it's going to be okay. We've been over this. <laughs> Sweet! You get to listen to it now. I wanted to give a minute for people to, to log on and see the pup. Hey! Okay, I can I can start tuning. Maybe you sit right here. Cool. That's where the guitar has to go, baby. Here you go. You wanna sit? You wanna sit down. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. Treats for the pet. I should have brought treats in here. I didn't even think about it. It's so cute. That was the wrong string. Okay, cool. I didn't have much time to put into thinking about that. I thought I'd try and estimate where the notes should go. Oh no. The dual pad is dead. My tuner. I should go get some treats. There's an idea. I don't know if she'll want to stay here for the whole stream, but. Does anyone have any questions while I wait for this, uh, for my tuner to, to charge up? It is, um, I've got B, A, D, and G sharp. I actually wrote it down. What is it? Yeah, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Oh, I'm sorry. I made the dog jump. Have a 
velocity of an unladen swallow. Well, is it an African swallow or a European swallow? Yeah. Do you want to get down? You look so, so nervous there. It's okay. I'll move that away from you. <laughs> I don't know. How's that? Is that good? You okay? <laughs> I I can I can try to live without him, but not forever. Not very much. It's still charging. I apologize. Have I tried to teach her guitar yet? I haven't. That'd be so cute. You can play guitar? Why, thank you. It's an old Switchfoot one that I got in a $10 bin at one of their shows. Ooh, I think... I think that to live is my favorite. I like didn't like it at first when I wrote it, but it turned into one of my favorites. Thank you. She's adorable. Best dog. 11 out of 10. I know. You're so cute. You just are, are a winner. A winner of a dog. You're welcome. I honestly don't know. I don't know how I lucked out with her. A lot of prayer, honestly. We really needed a good dog. She came at a really good time. Thanks. Yeah, that one... I don't know. It really turned into something really cool. That I didn't expect it to. You're okay. kids, all my children. <laughs> all right, let's get this started. I haven't played these songs since I recorded them, so I apologize if I get something off, but it's okay. We'll just jump right into it. So this is the first song, not technically, but pretty much the first song on the EP. Um, I really like it a lot. It's, it's definitely, if it's not my favorite on the project, it's up there. My hair is getting long. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 
jealousy far from me so glad that we get to do this today. I've been having a not super fun day, but I love getting to spend time with you guys. <laughs> Honestly, what a high compliment. Thank you. I'm gonna let my, my arm rest a little bit before I move into the next one. Hey, thank you. Thanks, I wrote it. It was wild. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's all on Spotify. Okay. What's the next one? If you guys have any questions about the project or about uh, recording or me or anything, feel free to ask. Yeah. Yeah, feel free to watch it later. I'm gonna get this guy back in standard tuning. Now that he is sleeping. <laughs> so. Ooh. The most difficult part was self-doubt all throughout the whole thing. I was really, really excited and productive for like the first week and then past that, anything that I did, I was like, it's bad, but I knew that it wasn't. I just was dealing with the, with doubting myself. And so I pushed through and here we are. Mr. Wonka's doing good. 
Cheeks is doing? Hi, bud. He's being loud this morning, just like scratching around. So I woke up and like put him on my shoulder and got coffee and he, he's great. Yeah. The lyrics are not posted anywhere yet. I can look after this stream and see if I can submit them to my aggregates so that they can put, put them, uh, put the right lyrics in places. Yeah, why not? Melody usually doesn't eat all her treats. But, um, <laughs> but I could grab some before the stream's up. takes me on average at least three hours to write a song. I, me personally, I usually write guitar and lyrics at the same time, but not everyone does that. It really depends. It changes up for different songs. Yeah, I usually give her the treats and then she like grabs them and runs away and then doesn't uh, eat them all. That's okay. I'm glad you're here now. All right. My capo is over in that direction. So I'm going to grab it and then we can do the next song. <laughs> uh, I don't always, but I typically try to because whenever I write a song halfway, I usually don't finish it personally. It's super exhausting to do it that way, but then they get done, so I don't know. Do you want to say anything to the stream, Melody? She just laid down. <laughs> good girl. I think it's good. I wrote, okay, the little things I wrote uh, last year and then just got around to releasing, but the rest of the songs, it was really surprising how it worked out. I think I wrote the other four songs in four days because I was like, I need these songs, so I'm just going to write them. And then, and then they, they said hi to the world really fast. And then the rest of the time was spent recording and going back and forth with drafts for mixing and mastering. That's cool that your friend makes music. All right, this is a song called Melody. I wrote it for this one right here taking a little nap for a couple reasons. Um, one, I felt like it fit with the idea of the project to create something to uh, help people relax and I thought it'd be really funny to write a serious song for a dog. You know, one where you wouldn't necessarily hear it and be like, that's for a dog. But then you'd find out about it later and be like, haha, wow, I can't believe it. But then also this dog um, has really been there in a lot of hard times. And <laughs> there she is. And so it, I mean, she doesn't know. So it's okay, you don't have to write songs for dogs. But I don't know, she's important. So. I'd have to say the most inspirational artist for me is John Foreman, who's the lead singer of Switchfoot. Pets for the treats. Scary drum sounds. <laughs> will be good for today. So yeah, this one's called Melody, which is the name of my dog.
That's a wonderful compliment. Thank you. I guess you get one next time, Mr. Wonka. Let me give you a little shot of what I'm seeing. Oh, I'm a grandma. There's the moldy and Mr. Wonka. Whoa, hey! Thank you for subscribing! That means so much. I appreciate it. Supporting me in what I'm doing or whatever. Where's your, your friend? You should tell him to jump on the stream. Yeah, I do cover a lot of 21 Pilots. Let's see. Holding on to you is my favorite. Also, jumpsuit means a lot to me. I have that uh, symbol tattooed on me. I want to get a holding on to you tattoo at some point and put it here. But I don't know what I want it to look like. <laughs> That's it. How do you know? Taco Bell saw it. No. Um, I feel like their songs are pretty self-explanatory if you've listened to them. But um, I don't know. I love those a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Since quarantine started, I've been streaming. I'm glad you're here, man. <laughs> oh, 
to name her Moldy or Melody? Because uh, I call her Moldy because one time a friend came over and that is just one of the funniest people that I know and they were like, ha, Mold. And uh, it stuck. I was like, that's genius. It does sound kind of like Mold. Um, I named her Melody because we had four people in our family trying to decide on a name and it's very difficult to do that for a dog. But, um, halfway named after Melody Pond from Doctor Who, halfway named after Melody League, which is a non-profit organization, um, and also I love music and she loves music because she falls asleep when I play music for her. Yeah. Well, thanks. I'm in the process of getting a new schedule going, so I'll be updating that once I figure out what works best. Melody Pond, yeah. She is sleeping now. It's a light nap, but she is asleep. Thanks. She really is. I've had a lot of weird dogs. But she's the best. <laughs> Mr. Bean. I love it. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh yeah, I still don't fully understand the Melody Pond story arc. I need to watch the whole thing over again. I'm in the process of it. All right, this next one, I went back and forth on putting it on the EP because I really didn't want to get political. And I, I did, but I didn't, you know? Like, I'm just addressing human rights issues and how we should be handling those, which is somehow inherently political. But, uh... Anyways, this one's called 1960s and 2020s. It references an uh, incredible person named John Perkins, who I highly encourage looking up. He's got an autobiography titled Let Justice Roll Down, and it really has done a lot um, for my perspective and to give a, a good role model in my life to see how somebody has fought for their rights and for the fellow human beings and still he continues to walk in love despite being horribly mistreated and having every reason to walk in hate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have one of those harmonica holders, but I should get one and then I could play the song right. Thank you. It's pretty simple. I just got these guys. And then one of these. Nope, that's in the little things. I've only got these four chords. Okay, let's go. 19, yeah, I almost forgot the title of the song. 1960s, 2020. Let's see if Melody wakes up. Oh, I forgot how I started. Admitting, living like this a little different. 
Canceling cancel culture. I am so excited to write songs about cancel culture. Mm, they're not ready. The the cancelers. I don't know. That's me. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. <laughs> That's a fun one. Sweet. I'm a, are you guys enjoying yourselves? I'm having a pretty grand old time. An unladen swallow. I don't remember it, the rest of the quote, but I hear you. Hey, dude, thank you. That was a lot. <laughs> thank you so much, dude. Making my life better by existing. I feel it. Rich uncle status. That's great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. two left for this project. Thank you. This next one I think ended up being my favorite one on the project. These songs I think are intended for just guitar but I definitely plan on having a band in the future. Good. I'm glad it's like a warm hug. Troubadour. <laughs> I took lessons um, for years, but I haven't taken lessons in a while. Huh? What did I lie about? Hello? is called To Live, based upon true events. The intent for this song, what I was aiming for, was to 
give people lyrics to have um, to provide kind of a roadmap for grounding, which is a technique that I learned from therapists who uh, I've talked to both in therapy and outside of therapy. <laughs> um, that's just a technique where you take account of the space that you're filling up in the moment that you're in. And um, every time I, I do that, it um, feels like poetry to be like, okay, I can feel the weight of myself sitting here and I can see these things and I can smell these smells and all, all the good stuff, the things that I can hear. And, and that's where the inspiration for this song came from. Yeah, it's a technique um, used for whenever you're having lots and lots of anxiety and it helps me out a lot. And I have a hard time living in the present. So it helps me do that. Good. So it's serving its purpose. That's great. All right. This one's called To Live. where Mr. Wonka has a feature.
you so much. Yeah, I didn't like that song at first, but now I think it's my favorite. I don't know how many times I've said that in the stream. I just keep repeating it in case you guys are jumping and not since the beginning. <laughs> I love that one though. It's a fun time. Somebody suggested in Discord that um, if COVID is still crazy that we should have a Halloween party and we can uh, do this and eat candy, and I'm all for that. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for saying something. I appreciate it. Oh, the chat just went away. We're good. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here. I love you all. And I'm really grateful, um, that we get to be part of each other's lives. And then I get to have any positive impact on your existence. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah. Good, I'm glad. Okay, last one. Then I don't know what you guys have going on today. We can maybe do a couple more after that. What time is it? It's not even three o'clock yet. We could also do some Fall Guys after this. Oh, Jackbox and Candy. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm sorry, Melody. You guys probably know this one. What's funny is that because this was a single for two weeks and then I released the project, the numbers on Spotify assume that the two weeks that this song spent accumulating plays is a part of the EP, and so it says that I have, like, thousands of streams for the EP, even though it's been out for two days and it's not true, but it's funny. I don't really want to be famous, but I want to be able to make a nice living off of music and to be able to help as many as people as possible. So if that means that I end up famous, that's okay. But it's not really the end goal. Nice! I'm glad you like it. Okay, this one is called The Little Things. I wrote it about all, not all, some of my irrational fears. Like moths and government surveillance and, and the like. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to be able to like go to gas stations, but if not, that's okay. Tyler said one time that you can't go into gas stations anymore. That makes me sad. But anyways, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it a lot. This one's called The Little Things. Fobby, I'm in such a funny feeling when I'm still scared of the house burning down. Good morning. I head outside and see the moths still look quite right. With fuzzy legs and shivers down my spine now I'm thinking that time is relative to time It's imperative and I don't know how to cope with no control <laughs> The little things get to me
so happy about you ah, little baby <laughs> what'd you think yeah little puppy <laughs> What's next to me is the comforting thing, so it's okay. It's like, oh, well, this sucks, but you're there next to me, so I'm gonna be all right. I didn't realize that could be misinterpreted, I apologize. <laughs> we don't know what she is. She is a little rescue puppy. We think she is a Cairn Terrier and Poodle Mix, but we don't know for sure. Whatever she is, I'm not allergic to her, and that's all that really matters. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, Karen? Karen? C-A-I-R-N? She's a Karen. <laughs> she is dog. Thank you, thank you. Karen Terrian? Go <laughs> to bed. Go to bed, make me so shocked. Lizard is good. He's tired of being missed. His little tank. Abby is good. She's literally the best dog I've ever met. And I know most dog owners say that, but like, I've had weird dogs and I'm willing to admit it. But she's great. Why is Abby? <laughs> anything else going on today. I don't think we can play Jackbox, but we can do pretty much anything else. Ooh, Netflix? Parks and Rec is leaving Netflix October 1st, so watch that while you can. Um, oh, I will tell her hi. Gotta say hi to Abby. Wanna eat chocolate? I mean, I feel that. I have not checked my peel barks because I got it, I think, less than a week ago. But I'll probably be by there sometime this week. Um, what was I doing? Netflix. The Office. My favorite. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much just going to give you the obvious ones, like Stranger Things. and the. There's a movie called Hugo that's on there. That's really good. Ugh. Sorry, it's not on Netflix there. Uh, I, I think I'm not... I, uh, do we want to talk about politics on this? It shouldn't be politics. I think there are a lot of pedophiles in Hollywood. And I think that uh, I'm glad that we can see where they're at. So that we can uh, get them out of positions of power and influence. Let Wa Mr. Wonka and Melody race. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's a big ol' sneeze! Yeah, Hugo, it's so good. That actor, Asa Butterfield, looks like he could be my twin brother when we were little. 
Like, our, our child pictures look exactly the same. It's hilarious. You're such a good puppy. They like you a lot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You wanna go say hi to people? You done? Okay. Well, if you guys would like to continue hanging out, I can play video games for a little bit and we can keep chatting like this. How does that sound? <laughs> we do like Moldy a lot. I'm a fan. <laughs> she took her nap and she's all done. Okay, cool. Gamer time. Pro gamer time. Not really. I, I just run around. Okay, yes, please sleep. Okay. Okay, cool. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Continue hanging out in the chat. And I will start a gaming stream just so we can keep hanging out. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, your support means everything to me. And I appreciate you all a whole ton. Whole ton. <laughs> I'll see you later.